Hey guys, it's John here from Adrift. Now look, Auckland Boat Show is just around the corner as you're probably well aware and there's probably a whole heap of you thinking about what boats you want to buy and what boats you want to look at and all that sort of stuff. So look, I'm just going to give you an unbiased, non-owner review on what I think makes this a really great boat and why I'd recommend it to other people and sort of go through some of the features that, that I think are really, really good and innovative in this design. So stick around. If you're into FCs, you'll enjoy this bit. Sweet. Now you read a lot of boat reviews out there and a lot of them can come across quite biased, generally um, a lot of them by the owner, um, so I'll just point out before we go any further that this isn't actually my boat. I do spend a lot of time fishing on this boat, um, which has you know, allowed me to sort of build up an opinion of what I think about it. So going forwards, this is a non-owner review on um, what I think makes this a really great all-rounder. Right, now first things first. You ask anybody about a center console and they'll all tell you they're inherently wet boats and that is generally true, okay? Apart from these bad boys here, these guys put a lot of R&D into the design of these hulls. One of the main features on here, you can see it's got these massive chimes down here, which apart from giving you lift in the, um, in, in the swell, it also drives water down and away from the boat, making for a very, very dry ride. Now, in the event that any water does come beyond there, rides up the side here and normal boats, it'll come up and over and blow into your face. These ones here, as you can see, have these massive top hats here, which then further drive the water down and away from the boat, making it an incredibly, incredibly dry center console. I haven't been on a drier center console, and in fact, this here will be drier than a lot of um, cutty cabins and runabout style boats, and it's a center console, which is ridiculous. So seriously, one of the best features on this boat. Now for comparison's sake, I've been in a lot of different boats in a lot of different weather and seen how they perform. Um, I've got my own boat, it's a small Cine console, Australian style one, and that thing's you know, wet as. It does everything else great, but it is so wet, it's ridiculous to throw so much spray. So, you know, just with that point alone, you know, had, had I had the choice of getting a, an FC430 or a 535, I would have gone that, that way time and time again. Now another great feature about this boat is obviously the centre console layout. Now you get a slightly forward mounted um, center console on there okay which does help with the balance makes it really quick up onto the plane and keeps you guys nice and central in the boat now you're not going to get any more fishing space out of a boat unless you go and get a tiller steer okay these things are exceptional internally really really deep okay you're not going to come falling over on this one you can lock straight into the corner here if you're onto a rampaging kingfish and you're not going to end up in the drink really really good light, um, depth on the inside um, my favorite aspect of this one here is obviously the front casting deck okay you can seat yourself down on here in most weather and fish up front, and it's really good, especially if you're drifting with the um, shoot out the back. Okay, and when it's really nice, you can get right up on the front there. You've got an elevated viewing platform, and you can spot kingfish and you know, schools of car and whatever else that you're chasing. So yeah, really, really good, good feature there. Now we've got the uh, the Mercury Pro Access on this, the 115. Um, perfect, perfect addition to this boat. We used to have the 90, and look, the 90 was really good. Um, had had heaps of whole shot. Was yeah, perfectly balanced on the boat, but we recently upgraded to this one here, and man, the whole shot is impressive. Top end's increased, and all through the rev range, uh, we've just got so much power on this thing now. It's a really, really great addition to this boat. Now, one thing that doesn't get pushed a lot on these boats here is they do actually have a flood and keel system down the bottom here, which fills up, keeps you stable at rest. You know, it's a lot of other boat makers do that too. Really good, really good feature when you're, you're stationary. However, this one here allows you to actually lock the water up the front in the console. It's got a little plunger you pull up, you fill it up, you shut it down. You've got, I believe, 200 litres worth of capacity up the front, which basically adds more weight to the front of the boat. So when you're out on the real rough stuff, it gets real nasty. You put all that weight up there and it just allows you to really, really punch through all that chop. And you can probably go five, six, sometimes seven knots quicker with that extra weight up the front and improving your ride. It's a really good feature to use when the conditions really turn bad. All right guys, now for the T-top. Apart from looking really cool, okay, they do actually keep you out of the sun and they keep you out of the element without impeding on any of your fishing space. Um, you know, we do a lot of stick baiting, soft baiting, all that sort of stuff, and this thing never gets in the way. You've also got the rod storage up the top there, so you can put your rods away, keep them out of the way. Um, the rock, rocket launch is always good for that. Um, but it just really completes the boat. It gives you that, that element of um, protection when you're out there without impeding on any of your fishing space. All right, now rod storage is always a concern on any boat and you're not short of rod storage on this one here. You've got the four in the back here. We've opted for a whole heap of optional ones around inside there as well, okay? So you can keep them when, when you're on the trailer. We chuck all our rods on there so they're not catching in trees and that sort of stuff. 
Also got some on the side, those are just makeshift ones. But as you can see over there, you've also got the ability to store three rods along each side as well. Okay, so tons and tons of rod storage, okay? And if you're like me, seriously, always go with a rod rigged up for whatever might eventuate, because you never know, you might be, you know, jigging for snapper and next minute a kingfish cruises past if you've got a rod on hand with a stick bait or a jig bang you're straight on there's no re-rigging and then missing the opportunity so more rods you can take the better seriously now as with any boat storage is always an issue um but in this one here there's plenty of storage we've got these bad boys down the back here there's plenty of storage in there for tackle boxes that sort of stuff you've also got a heap of storage underneath this console i mean we've got all sorts under here really really good plenty of room in that one there You've got the front hatch as well, which I believe is an option, okay? Um, so you can put your jerry cans and all that sort of stuff under there, extra fuel, so on. And this one up the front here. And not to mention, topped off with a uh, Minn Kota on here. Now, if you're into soft baiting or any type of sports fishing, these things are such an asset. I, yeah, I can't, I can't state it enough. You know, they really change the way you fish for the better. So, yeah, if you've got, got the extra, comb encoder on the front any day now in terms of the internal layout in here obviously you've got the center console you've got the uh chili bin seat here which is really really good gives you plenty of plenty of room to sit on here generally we can sit three people on here it's not too bad okay you could probably go a bigger bigger chili bin on there if you wanted to but that's entirely up to you now in the back here one thing that i do really like is we've got this live well here now this is across most of their models i believe okay this one here is a passive model so the water comes in down the bottom here flushes in and out you put your live bait in it keeps them nice and fresh we also have a option down here with the underwater pickup okay so as we're cruising along we can turn this on pushes water in here circulates around keeps it all nice and aerated and when you're at rest it just flushes in and out of there so it keeps your live baits really really nice and fresh and it's just a really great feature because you're not running pumps to keep them alive it's not up on the back here it's just a system that's gonna flush itself and whether you use it or you don't it's entirely up to you okay so really really cool feature so look that pretty much sums it up guys so if you're at the boat show do check the fc boats out go see the guys um you won't be disappointed there is very solid tough built boat you know the purpose built with fishing in mind and you're not gonna get a better all-rounder on the market. That's my view anyway, and I've been in a lot of boats, and this one by far has just blown me away. It's, it's dry, it's versatile, I, I, there's just nothing I can fault it on. It's just seriously a great all-round boat. So do check them out. They have varying models, obviously, um, but they do go smaller as well, and even those perform just as well as this one does. So hopefully my views have helped a few of you, um, particularly guys if you're you know, sort of umming and ahhing about the FC boats. Um, take it from me, look, I love them. You know, if I was in a position to buy another boat, I'd definitely go with these guys any day. So look, if you're there, do check them out and enjoy the boat show. No worries, thanks for sticking around. Cheers guys.